Have you ever wondered how a group of colonies managed to defeat one of the world's most powerful empires? It sounds like a plot from a fictional novel, doesn't it? But it's a real story, a story of resilience, defiance, and the desire for liberty that led to the American Revolution. Our tale begins in the mid-18th century. At that time, the British Empire was a global powerhouse, its influence reaching across continents. But across the Atlantic, in the British colonies of North America, a struggle was brewing. This struggle took shape after a series of events that lit the fuse of revolution. The French and Indian War was a significant flashpoint. It was a costly conflict for Britain, both in terms of casualties and finance. To recoup these losses, Britain turned to its North American colonies. The Sugar Act of 1764 was one of the first attempts, imposing hefty duties on sugar and other goods. But it was met with outrage, with colonists arguing that taxation without representation was unjust. The Stamp Act followed a year later, requiring all paper goods to bear a tax stamp. This too sparked widespread protest and resistance. The colonists refused to be treated as mere cash cows. Their discontent was growing and so was their unity. Then came the Townshend Acts of 1767, placing taxes on glass, lead, paints, and tea. The colonists responded with boycotts and protests. The British responded with more force, leading to incidents like the Boston Massacre. Each of these acts, each of these taxes built upon the last, fueling the flames of revolt. The colonists were not merely opposing taxes, they were fighting for their rights, their freedoms. They were standing up to a distant power that seemed to care more about its purse than its people. This was not just a reaction to a series of acts, but a reaction to a pattern of disregard for their voices, their lives. And so, the stage was set for a revolution that would change the course of history forever. With tensions boiling over, the inevitable clash was just around the corner. The American colonies, stirred by the descent of revolution, were on the brink of an epic defining conflict. It was a crisp spring morning on April 19, 1775, when the first shots of the American Revolution rang out in Lexington, Massachusetts. British troops, marching towards Concord to seize an arms cache, were met by local militia. This confrontation, known as the Battles of Lexington and Concord, marked the outbreak of open-armed conflict. The shot heard round the world, as poet Ralph Waldo Emerson famously called it, had been fired. In the wake of these battles, representatives from the 13 colonies convened in Philadelphia for the Second Continental Congress. This assembly comprising esteemed figures such as John Adams, Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson was a crucible for the revolutionary cause. The Congress acted as a de facto national government, managing the war effort and navigating the political landscape of rebellion. Yet it was clear that mere resistance was insufficient. The colonies needed to assert their autonomy, their right to self-govern. And so, the drafting of the Declaration of Independence began. Thomas Jefferson, with his eloquent quill, was tasked to articulate the colonies' grievances against King George III and to express the philosophical underpinnings of their revolt. The Declaration was a bold proclamation, an assertion of freedom and rights, a definitive break from the British Crown. After much debate and amendment, the final draft was presented to Congress on July 4, 1776. With its adoption, the 13 colonies declared themselves independent states no longer under British rule. The signing of this historic document was more than a symbolic act. It was a statement of intent, a pledge of resistance, a commitment to the ideals of liberty and democracy. The colonies had staked their claim for independence and were willing to defend it with blood and iron. As the Declaration of Independence was signed, the colonies were officially at war with Britain. The stage was set for a grueling battle for freedom, a confrontation that would shape the course of history and give birth to a new nation. The war was far from over, and the colonists faced an uphill battle. But as we know from history, the tide has a way of turning when you least expect it. In the autumn of 1777, that turn came in the form of the Battle of Saratoga. The British had planned to divide and conquer the rebellious colonies, but the American forces had a different plan. They stood their ground in Saratoga, New York, pushing back against the British troops with a ferocity that was, frankly, surprising. This battle marked the first major American victory in the Revolutionary War, and it was a turning point that shifted the momentum in favor of the colonists. That victory did more than just boost morale. It caught the attention of a powerful ally across the Atlantic, France. Seeing the potential in this fledgling nation, France decided to throw its weight behind the American cause. 
In early 1778, they officially recognized the United States as an independent nation and entered the war on their side. The alliance with France was a game changer. Their military and financial support gave the colonists the resources they needed to take on the mighty British Empire. But the road to victory was still a long one. The harsh winter at Valley Forge tested the resolve of the American forces. Supplies were scarce, the weather was brutal, and disease ran rampant. But under the leadership of General George Washington, the troops persevered. They emerged from that winter stronger and more determined than ever. They had endured the worst and came out the other side, ready to fight. With renewed determination and support from their French allies, the colonists were ready to take the fight to the British. The tide had turned and the colonists were no longer just surviving, they were on the offensive. And as we'll see in the next chapter, their resilience and determination would pave the way to a hard-won victory. The stage was set for the final act of this epic drama. The closing years of the American Revolution were marked by a series of decisive events that ultimately led to the birth of a new nation. In the late 1780s, the war was reaching its climax with the Siege of Yorktown. This was a monumental confrontation, where the combined forces of the American Continental Army and the French Army, led by General George Washington and Comte de Rochambeau respectively, laid siege to the British Army. The British, led by General Lord Cornwallis, found themselves surrounded with no avenue for escape. After weeks of relentless fighting, the British were forced to surrender, marking a significant victory for the American forces. However, the Siege of Yorktown wasn't the end. It was a vital turning point, but the war raged on. The final curtain fell with the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. This was a momentous occasion, a culmination of years of struggle, sacrifice, and resilience. The Treaty of Paris was more than just a peace agreement. It was a recognition of the United States of America as a sovereign entity, free from British rule. The treaty was detailed and comprehensive. It recognized American independence and established borders that extended far beyond the original 13 colonies. The United States was now stretching from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River and from the Great Lakes to Florida. But the end of the war didn't come without its challenges. The negotiations were long and arduous, reflecting the complexities of the conflict. But through it all, the American negotiators remained steadfast, committed to securing the best possible outcome for their fledgling nation. With the signing of the Treaty of Paris, the last vestiges of British rule were swept away. The war was over, the revolution had succeeded, a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the principle that all men are created equal, had emerged. With the signing of the Treaty of Paris, the United States of America was officially recognized as an independent nation. This marked the end of one chapter and the beginning of another, the path to becoming a nation that would grow to influence the world in ways unimaginable at the time. The war was over but the real work was just beginning. In the aftermath of the American Revolution, a nascent nation found itself tasked with the monumental challenge of creating a new form of governance, one that would reflect the ideals and principles for which they had fought so ardently. The drafting of the Constitution was no small feat, it was a process fraught with debate and compromise as the Founding Fathers grappled with the delicate balance of power between the federal government and the states. They sought to create a system that would prevent the tyranny they had rebelled against, while also ensuring a functioning, effective government. The result was a remarkable document, a testament to their vision and foresight, that continues to guide and govern us, over two centuries later. But the establishment of the new government did not come without its struggles. The early years were marked by political strife and economic instability. Yet in these trying times, the resilience and determination of the American people shone through. They worked tirelessly to build their nation, to create a society that was truly of the people, by the people, and for the people. The legacy of the American Revolution extends far beyond the borders of the United States. It served as a beacon of hope for oppressed peoples around the world, a powerful testament to the transformative power of ideas and the indomitable spirit of humanity. It ignited a wave of revolutions across the globe, as individuals and nations alike were inspired to fight for their rights and liberties. 
The American Revolution was a crucible in which a new nation was forged, a nation built on the principles of liberty, equality, and self-governance. It was a testament to the power of ideas, the strength of conviction, and the resilience of the human spirit. The American Revolution was not just a war, it was a revolution of ideas, a revolution of government, and a revolution of the human spirit. So, what can we take away from the American Revolution? Well, to begin, we learned that the seeds of the revolution were sown in the fertile soil of dissent. The perceived overreach of the British crown, particularly in terms of taxation without representation, was a major catalyst. The colonists were determined to assert their rights and were willing to take extreme measures to do so. The Boston Tea Party was a vivid demonstration of this resolve. As we delved into the outbreak of war we saw how the initial skirmishes at Lexington and Concord escalated into a full-blown conflict. The Battle of Bunker Hill, despite being a British victory, showed the world that the American colonists were not to be underestimated. They were ready to fight, and die if necessary, for their freedom. The turning point came with the tide of the war shifting in favor of the Americans. The Battle of Saratoga served as a turning point, with the decisive American victory persuading France to enter the war on their side. This marked a significant boost in morale and resources for the American forces. The path to victory was not easy, but it was paved with determination and innovative strategies. The crossing of the Delaware River and the subsequent victories at Trenton and Princeton were testament to the tactical genius of General George Washington and the resilience of the American soldiers. The aftermath and legacy of the American Revolution are perhaps as significant as the war itself. The war led to the birth of a new nation, defined by ideals of liberty, equality, and democracy. The impact of these ideas resonated beyond the borders of the United States, influencing political thought and revolutions around the world. In conclusion, the American Revolution was a complex and transformative period in history. It was a war fought not just for independence but for principles and ideals that continued to shape our world. The American Revolution was a pivotal moment in history that reshaped the world and continues to inspire people today. The American Revolution is more than just a series of events in a textbook. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a saga of a people's struggle for self-determination. It's a narrative of ideals and principles, many of which still resonate in our world today. This isn't simply an American story, it's a global narrative, a blueprint of revolution and change that has inspired countless other movements for freedom and equality throughout the world. It's a testament to the enduring power of ideas and how these ideas can shape nations and societies. Each time we delve into history we're not just learning about the past, we're gaining insights into the present and the future. We're understanding how our world came to be and how we can navigate the path ahead of us. As we reflect on the American Revolution, we are reminded of the power of an idea, the strength of unity, and the enduring spirit of freedom.